don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Murphy's Law will be knocking at your door. Why? I don't know why. That's called life. And you have to deal with it. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. Whatever experience you're having right now, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. Because when Durant score, he don't say nothing. <laughs> he don't say, he ain't getting nobody excited. He ain't, he ain't trying to get LeBron pissed off or pumped up. He just score on my man and shh. Only thing he does at the end of the game, he kiss his mama, he hug his brothers. All right, I'm out. Game over. Shh. But the one thing he does, I don't know if you watched it, the first thing he does when he gets on the court is he does what? Y'all better start watching these games, bro, because you're going to need to do what these champions doing if you're going to be a champion. The first thing he does is what with them numbers? He touched them numbers on the front. He touched them numbers on the back. And he's doing that for who? His coach that was killed. His coach died at what age? And he wears what number? He got a Y. He got a Y. He ain't just playing for no championship. He not. You got to hear what I'm telling you. If y'all going to be great on that field, you got to have a Y. You got to have a reason for why you do what you do. When, when he comes out, he ain't tripping on LeBron. He, ain't, he don't care nothing about no Dwayne Wade. All he keep thinking about is, I'm going to get one for my coach. That's why he ain't all smiling. Because why? He's not smiling because what he's trying to accomplish, he has not what? He ain't got it yet. You ain't got a why. I walk in the room, I can see some of y'all. I spoke to all of y'all when y'all came in for the most part. Why? Because I'm looking in your eyes and I see some of y'all and you ain't serious. Negro, please, when Ray come out, you see the passion. Every game, you see the energy. He come out every game like, y'all follow me. Follow my lead, baby, and we're going to win this thing. He ain't geeked about winning no game. He not geeked about beating San Antonio. He not tripping because they up one game. That boy, and you ain't going to see that boy smile until he get the championship. And when he get it, he going to hold up. The problem with some of y'all, the reason why you don't give 120% every doggone time you get on the field, because you ain't got a why for what you do. I do what I do because my daughter says she's going to Harvard. It ain't even about y'all. I'm about to come here and blaze y'all. Why? Because I'm trying to get you all the NFL. I ain't about to miss this opportunity. This is the first NFL team I've ever done in my life, and I'm about to lick it. I'm about to give everything I got, and I will know if I don't get another gig, it won't have anything to do with the fact that I didn't put everything on the field. What's your why? Why do you wake up in the morning? Why do you put on that jersey? Why do you go out and practice? Why?